Okay, so where are we? Question, I believe. This is great for editing. Okay, question seven. And sorry, I went a little overboard in describing the case. I got all excited. Um, So let's focus on what you really need to do for the question before we worry about the case that I gave you. Okay, so absolutely, positively got to, no matter what, explain this. Right. And, and, you know, actually, I think I said that. Yeah, I said this in the my, like little note here. Um, the vast majority of what you need to be doing here is explaining the concept and framework of harm. Right. That's going to be a lot of the work. So this is um, uh, talking about the other question. You know, you want to explain that uh, harm requires a setback of interest. Make sure you understand that in terms of well-being, which, you know, I'm understanding is the quality of your week. If you have a different way you want to go and you can justify it, okay. But you want to make sure it's clear that any harm is going to have to make somebody worse off than they were or would have been in terms of how, you know, good or bad their week was. Well, I guess how good it was because bad is bad. So, and then you are going to want to say that setback has to be done in a way that the person has a right not to experience. And then you're going to pick one of these four, you know, the ordinary rights, uh, like, uh, you know, sort of right to not be killed unjustly, right to life, you know, property, uh, right to uh, security, you know, all that stuff. Um, one of those can be the thing that you work off of, or you can work off of the liberal theory, which is going to tell you that um, you have privacy rights, or you have a right not to have your interests set back, uh, uh, when that setback occurs through somebody else interfering, basically. Uh, Republican, uh, you have a right not to have setbacks that occur due to, um, uh, due to uh, people being, putting themselves into a position of domination or institutions putting themselves in a position of domination. And the rela- relational view, you have a right to not have these setbacks in ways which um, impair the ability to... Uh, to have important and meaningful relationships, both, you know, of all sorts, work, personal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you want to spend a big chunk of your paper, uh, answering or just spelling out that framework. Uh, same, same thing you would do in question six. Okay. All right. So if you do enough work to, um, explain, the concept of harm, then you make your life way easier when you turn to actually doing um, the second task, which is to um, discuss this, right? So, in other words, the reason why you make it easy, I guess I should have written the stuff above here, uh, you know, you've made yourself a checklist. You go, all right, um, what interests, right, would be set back? You know, and so you just think, okay, well, people having, uh, you know, some algorithm decide their career and their, you know, when your career is an important part of your life, um, pretty easy to articulate uh, which interests are at stake here. Um, You want to say how they would be set back, right? So as concrete as possible, you know, just say like, look... um, if there are variables that uh, the algorithm's not taking into account, um, which should matter in decisions about um, uh, promotion, those aren't, you know, you're not going to be treated fairly. Or you might say something along the lines of, uh, you know, um, the interests that you have are going to be set back. Well, okay, you don't want to say it exactly that way, sorry. Um there's a lot of different ways you could do it. So I was going to say that you, you know, sort of about like the justice of your outside of work life affecting your inside of work life. Um, you can do that in terms of interests, but it's probably easier to phrase that in terms of the rights violation. So anyways, um, whatever you want to do, um, just give yourself a framework to work with. You say what interests are set back, how are they set back? And then, you know, uh, basically does the setback, you know, rise to the quality of your week uh, affect well-being, right? So that's the quality of your week sort of thing. And then um, 
And then we go on to the rights violation. And, you know, if it fails on any of their, these, um, you probably still want to keep going, right? So you're like, um, yeah, we find some interest. Uh, we find that, I just hypothetically, we find that they're, they are set back, but they're not actually setbacks that affect the quality of your week. Um, and then you would say, well, you know, that's enough right there to just say that there's no harm here. But, you know, just just in case I'm not right about this, or just in case there are cases in which uh, the setback does affect a person's well-being, you know, let's suppose, right, and then keep on going, right? So then you go, okay, um, we have to go, what rights are affected? Um, uh, what rights are violated? And then you are going to, you know, you all earlier have said, you know, you're going to go with the... Uh, uh, the re the liberal view, right? So then you say, um, well, okay, here's exactly how on a liberal view uh, this sort of scenario would be interfering with, with you, right? So you have a, a liberal right to pursue the kind of career that is um, uh, meaningful to you and be judged on the basis of your performance without interference for, from, you know, something blah, 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 or something like that. Um, and then, you know, you would try to analyze this case in terms, or sorry, analyze whether or not that right is violated by this case. Or if you did it the Republican way, you say, well, look, this puts um, the company Panopticon into this extremely dominant position over you um, so that now you have to watch your back, you know, uh, in terms of, who you call, where you go, what you buy, um, even though that might never affect the way that your job goes, uh, you're going to have to sort of constantly be self-censoring. That's, you know, the, the position of domination that is no good, right? So again, or you do the relational view. Um, you know, all the stuff we talked about before, right? Now you are not feeling like you can associate with the people that you might want to associate with. You can't look at stuff online that's, uh, or join online groups that are related to something that others might judge you wrongly for. Um, lots of stuff like that. So again, you don't want to, you're not going to have enough space in an answer like this to do all three of these, right? So don't do that. Um, pick one. That's probably the best way to go. You could mention the other two, but even there, I would, I think you'll be better off spending your time just like really just setting out like, say you're doing the Republican like one, you know, like here's exactly how this is, uh, puts the company into a, a position of domination over you. Here's exactly why that would violate the rights uh, to protect certain kinds of information that, you know, this view gives you. Um, so then, you know, at that, the end of the day, now we're clear that, yeah. Okay, if we've checked off all of these boxes, there's a harm. Or if you discovered that some of them didn't check off, uh, then there's no harm, right? Whatever you do, that's totally fine. You can come up with whatever answer. Well, I won't say what, whatever answer you want, but you can come up with lots of different answers depending on how you do it. The thing that I'm looking for is that you use this framework that we've set out to come up with your answer. Um, I can't say this enough times. Uh, the further you get from using the framework of harm that we talked about in class, the more danger your answer will be in. Okay, so I hope that helps.